my practice, first and foremost, I'm a filmmaker, um, so I, I'm used to that process. Um, and we all know that when you make any film, you've, once you've finished it, it's always going to be the same when you play it back. But also one day I was just struck by this sense that it would be possible to put an intelligence in a film. In other words, give it some agency, some kind of um, I suppose, participation in the process of what was going to happen next. It comprises a lot of different filmmaking disciplines, everything from a big green screen studio shoot, a lot of matting, matte painting, which is an old fashioned kind of painting on glass, right through to developing, which was incredibly exciting for me, these fractal worlds, fractal zoom. So now we can, with machinery, access kind of cosmological, mathem mathematical kind of ordinances that are within so-called reality. But the process for having this, making this generative moving image work is that you have to end up in a computer because that's the brain, that the machine is where that decision-making capability, that agency is gifted to a machine. Whereas we know a film, you just can pass it around on a hard drive, it's, it's sort of dead and inert. But for me, the machine allows it to become alive. There was an excitement of going, when I watch it, even me and my, myself and my producer watch it, we don't know what the machine's gonna do. That's my medium as an artist, is the filmmaking process, and, and to push the process beyond the, the classical and traditional boundaries has definitely been my, my excitement.